I'm a big fan of coffee. Mm. Is that chocolate? Oh, it smells like arugula. Like kind of cedary and earthy. Oh my goodness. Acidic pop. You like this one the best? Coffee tastings could actually have more subtleties than wine tastings. Coffee cuppings, it is a standardized way to taste coffee. So today I have four different coffees and I, I'm gonna hope that when we start cupping you guys will be able to see all the amazing nuances and differences. So as we go through you wanna agitate each cup. You're gonna get your nose really close to that coffee and give it a good, good smell. <laughs> it actually reminds me of soy sauce. It's like sweet and yeah. like light it at is. the same time. You'll take the back of your spoon you're gonna agitate forward no more than three times. So one, two, three, and inhale deeply. Some of them are almost light, lighter. You can, I can, maybe I'm imagining, I could be making this all up, I don't know. <laughs> it's all in my head. Body will be how that coffee feels in your mouth. Um, some coffees have much heavier, uh, like creamier mouthfeel. Other coffees are gonna be more uh, fruity, like apple juice or orange juice. And then you're gonna purse your lips and kiss the spoon. And now be a human vacuum. There you go. <laughs> so you wanna think of yourself as a human vacuum. You're 50% air and 50% coffee, and you really wanna coat your mouth. A little more aggressive. In brightness, I will use terms like um, the difference between a banana and a lemon and how it actually feels, the sensation on your tongue. Um, that little pucker you get. This is something that's that's lovely and sparkly and rainbows in your mouth. I think this one is a little less, uh, maybe a little less grassy. I get a lot of caramelly notes. It's definitely different. It's hard for me to articulate what I experience, but it's always an experience. I've had so much coffee, my brain is just whoop. 